Welcome, this is Carrie Schell from On Point Quilter. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to draft two of my favorite pieced heart blocks and then set them in a custom set quilt. In Electric Quilt, I'm going to select New Project and label this one Valentine and select OK. Select Design a Block from Scratch and select a new block pieced easy draw block. The first block is going to have a width and height of four. And I want to snap every half inch, so I'm going to multiply that times two and change the snaps to eight by eight. Snapping options should be just snap to grid point. Select the grid tool and change the number of columns and rows to two by two and drag a grid from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Select the line tool and draw half inch triangles in the top and we're going to want four of them. These triangles could be pieced with one inch squares using a folded corner construction technique. Then I'm going to draw larger half square triangles in the lower section of the heart. Select the color tab and let's add some new fabrics. Select open library and I'm going to go to one of my stash collections. I'm going to select the 2020 Download 2. Now this is a purchased collection from Electric Quilt. Uh, feel free to use any collection of your choice. I'm going to select the Riley Blake New Dawn collection and then select all fabrics, add to sketchbook, and close. The new fabrics will be at the end and I can see larger versions of them by going from that tiny option to one of the larger options. Color the heart and use a background fabric for the outside triangles and select add to project sketchbook mm -hmm. then select new block pieced easy draw now let's change the block width and height to six by six and set the snaps at six by six snapping options just snap to grid start by taking the grid tool and it should still be set at 2x2 two two and drag a grid from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. Now with the grid tool, change the number of columns to 3 and rows to 1 and drag a grid in the square in the upper left corner and another one in the lower right corner. Then change the number of columns to 1 and rows to 3 and drag a grid in the upper right corner and lower left corner. Next, we will add diagonal lines to create the heart shape. So with the line tool, draw four diagonal lines in the top section of the heart, and in the bottom, draw longer 45 degree triangles that cover the entire square. Select the color tab and go back to draw. Select the pick tool and delete the lines that are on in the lower left corner and lower right corner. Select the color tab and use the same fabric collection to color the heart. And then select add to project sketchbook. Now let's combine these blocks in a custom set quilt. Select the quilt work table and do a new quilt. Scroll to the end on the ribbon toolbar and select custom set. Select the layout tab and change the width to 20 and the height to 15. Select the border tab and let's change this just to a binding. So select the style mitered and let's select the size of a quarter inch. Select the Design tab and select Set Block. Select the first heart block, which is 4 inches, and drag it on the quilt, and then drag the 6-inch heart on the quilt. Select the Adjust tool, 
And now under Quilt Grid Setup, let's turn on all three options. And under Good Grid Snap Increments, let's select one inch. Let's drag one of the four inch hearts to the upper left corner and then do a copy followed by three paste. Select each of those hearts and move them to the four corners of the quilt. Select the larger heart and under the options select center horizontally and vertically. Now let's add some spacer squares. Under block tools select set block, select the three dots and select Add Plane Block. Drag the Plane Block on the quilt. Select it with the Adjust tool and drag it to right below the heart in the upper left corner. Then drag a corner to fill the space between the two hearts. Once the space is resized, I'm going to just drag it and let it snap back into position. Note that the size is 4 by 7 and the X and Y axes is 0 and 4. Select Copy Paste and move the pasted block between the two hearts on the right. Do another paste and position this one between the two hearts on the top. To adjust the block so it does not overlap the one in the center, change the grid snap increments to a half inch and resize and position the block on the top. Then do a Copy Paste and put the pasted block on the bottom. Select the spacer on the left and do a copy paste and resize and position it to fill the space to the left of the center heart. And copy paste and move it to the right. Select fabric tools, use swap color to color the background and also color the binding. And select add to project sketchbook. To finish up the quilt, I decided to incorporate an applique motif that I designed in Calendar Quilts. Calendar Quilts is a class I offer in Techno Quilters. If you ever need to transfer blocks from one project to the next project, under Block Tools, select Open Library. Select Import and navigate to the project that has the block you're interested in and select Open. Locate the block that you'd like to include in the project and select it and select Add to Sketchbook and Close. Then I will select Layer 2, Set Block, go to my Motifs tab and drag the block on Layer 2. Select it with the Adjust tool, and I have this block at 15 by 15, which is what I want. So I'm going to center horizontally and vertically, and then I will hide show quilt patch lines so we, you can see my finished quilt, and select Add to Sketchbook. My challenge for you is to take the two blocks that we designed in this tutorial and create your own quilt from those blocks. Feel free to add any additional blocks that you would like to work with.